this time, the popularity of backend technology extends beyond seamless operations. The current idiom is faster, better, and wholesome. As a result, mobile app backend technologies provide scalability, flexibility, and long-term viability. Backend developers' preferred languages are undoubtedly Node.js and Java. While there are intense disagreements and debates worldwide about the advantages and downsides of Node.js and Java, it's safe to state that each of these backend technologies has its own set of benefits and drawbacks. Want to know the pros and cons of both frameworks? Then watch the video till the end. Also, before that, don't forget to subscribe to Forcebolt's YouTube channel. Hit the like button and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Now, let's begin with an in-depth understanding of both frameworks. What is Node.js? Node.js is a server-side runtime environment for open source code development for single-threaded processes. It is considered a scalable and high-performance framework for synchronizing programs and web load. The Node.js framework can help an online or mobile app's backend capabilities. Single page applications, backend API services, and web pages are all built with it. What is Java? Java is an object-oriented programming language with a class-based approach. It runs on a variety of operating systems, including Linux, Mac OS X, and Windows. It's quick, secure, and powerful, according to developers. Aside from that, there is widespread acceptance of the language in the community. In addition, Java code can be reused, lowering development expenses. Now, let's delve deeper into the comparison between Node.js and Java. Where do Node.js and Java stand in terms of performance? The event-driven methodology of Node.js ensures effective multitasking capabilities, which improves an application performance. Furthermore, Node.js make use of the V8 JavaScript engine. Also, it works at a breakneck speed in a short amount of time. Whereas, Java is written in bytecodes, which means it performs better and faster than traditional programming languages. The next question that might arise in your mind is, are both these frameworks scalable? Node.js may be used to create very scalable programs. It is used for handling multiple concurrent requests, non-blocking inputs, and output systems. On the other hand, Java is very scalable in the eyes of developers, which enables it to deliver excellent performance in the development of enterprise applications. However, you must follow best practices when adding more processing resources such as RAM and CPUs. Next comes the microservice compatibility of Node.js and Java. Because of its effectiveness in handling multiple concurrent requests, Node.js is considered perfect for constructing scalable apps. In addition, Node.js is extremely compatible with code and service modules, since it can handle smaller modules. Because of Java frameworks like Spring Boot and Annotation Syntax, developers find Java compatible with microservice architecture. It allows for easy microservice development as well as the capability to read even the most complicated systems. Which popular companies are using Node.js? Still wondering why Node.js should be chosen for the backend? Some of the most popular apps in their fields were built with Node.js or migrated to it. PayPal, Netflix, LinkedIn, and Uber are some prominent firms that are taking advantage of Node.js. Which popular companies are using Java? Among the powerful backend technologies, Java maintains its position as one of the most popular programming languages. Some of the most popular Java-based apps are Spotify, Twitter, and Opera Mini. Before concluding, I would like to say both Node.js and Java have unique characteristics. Java has been used to create numerous award-winning programs, while Node.js has created massive apps. To put it another way, Node.js and Java can be utilized for a variety of applications. Now that you are well acquainted with Node.js versus Java performance and features, do you think we have a clear winner? I think no. What do you think? Do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more informative content on different programming languages and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.